Hey Facebook, I figured I would, um, before I enter my house with three crazy dogs, <laughs> um, sometimes I'm like so distracted and then I'm like, shoot, I wanted to get on here and do a quick live and update you on my SIBO journey and how it's going. So it is day five. I'm doing the carnivore diet for two weeks. Hey Renee. And, um, and so here's what I'm noticing. Okay. I feel like the old Tracy is emerging. I told my client this this morning. I was like, I have had these house piles. I don't know if you guys do this, right? You're like, I am going to get to this stuff and it'll be like paperwork stuff. So I, I have my own business. And so there's, you know, multiple things to do, of course. And so I have these piles like all throughout my house. Like there's piles in my, um, on my desk in my bedroom. There's a pile on the kitchen counter. There's a pile on the bathroom counter. And then I have multiple piles like around the kitchen table. And I think it's been there for like four months. Like I'm like, you know, maybe I should look at this and do it. And every time I'm always like, oh gosh, I just don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. And a lot of it is, um, what I've noticed is sometimes you just got to take action, right? Take action and do something and you'll get something done and whatever, instead of like analyzing it to death, which is what I do half the time. <laughs> um, but I will say this, the last two days I have literally cleaned out these piles. Like I've I feel like my brain, okay, so those of us who have autoimmune issues or gut issues or fibromyalgia, chronic illness, you know who you are. You know who I'm talking to. And you literally feel like, I think now the term is brain fog. Okay, so years ago, before I ever heard that term, I used to feel like my brain was either one of two things. It would be claustrophobic. Like I would feel like my brain was literally caving in and I could see just a tiny little light and like everything would be, I guess, overwhelming. And I didn't even, I would just be like, I don't even know where to start, you know, with whatever it was. I just felt, um, yeah, like claustrophobic. It was horrible. Or I would feel on the opposite sides, I could feel as if my brain was, um, like I would have this crazy brain <laughs> and I would be like electrical sparks all over. That's what I used to kind of envision it as just like sparks flying all over, like the 4th of July, just like fireworks and scattered. Like my thoughts were just super scattered. So there would either be this very narrow feeling pressing in, or I'd feel fireworks scattered neither of which make you proactive or capable to accomplish anything, right? Well, now we know the term is brain fog. That's what they call it. Okay, the last two days, I am like so clear. Like I feel very clear. And it's funny because the first three days, I had a lot of, I'm going to say it, diarrhea. I did. I was like, oh gosh. Okay. So I have like a colostomy bag. So it's kind of a benefit. <laughs> Here's the benefit, right? Ah, of not having to run to the bathroom. Um, but on the other hand, you still feel like you want to be like at the house because you're like, oh my gosh. And I had, you know, some cramping from probably supplements or whatever, but I had like three days, probably like that, the, like day two and three. And I have felt really clear. So I don't know if it's a combination of that. I don't have, you know, it's zero carbs. So, um, and anything like that, like I feel good. I don't, I think that I fat adapt quickly after doing the water fasting, you know, I've done like four or five water fasts. So I think I can get into ketosis pretty quickly. And, um, and I think the exhaustion or the tired feeling I would get seems to, um, go, it just goes away faster. And I felt like that when I would wake up in the morning, I felt a little lethargic. Like it was just in the morning. I would just be like, Oh, you know, and, um, I've noticed like today I got up, I felt good. Um, and I stayed up kind of late last night getting some things done. Yeah. Like I am on a roll. Like I just feel I just feel, I've always been highly motivated. So those of you that know me, I've always had a lot of energy, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but 
I think cancer and illness and my husband's illness and all that, I mean, it literally, for lack of a better word, I just, well, I don't know, I just felt like it kind of cut my balls off, you know, I know that sounds like kind of weird to say that, but I felt like it just changed me in ways that like I could not find myself again. Like I literally had an identity crisis I felt like post-cancer and so um, working through all of this stuff I definitely people would say you know chemo brain like I felt like that and then I kind of came out of it but I just I didn't feel normal for a really long time and I think the last two days I feel like Tracy like old Tracy emerging so this is really exciting for me I'm I'm really being aware I'm writing everything down I'm vlogging I'm blogging I'm doing all that because I really want to um you know if I'm if I can heal myself I want to help other people and so sharing my journey I know that's how I learn you know um so my tummy let me tell you about my tummy I wrote some things down because I didn't want to forget um so those of us right that have this issue my tummy at least it will feel as hard as a rock I mean from the time I first started having these issues and I didn't even know it was SIBO it's like it would be I would be like it feels like a muscle like when you like you know go like that you're like feel my bicep I would be like feel my stomach you know if I was like you know with my significant other I'd be like feel my stomach it's just so awful it wouldn't only just blow up, but it would feel so hard. And um, here's the great thing. It's not. Like, it literally, I think every morning, I have this habit of, like, every morning I wake up and I'll, like, rub on my stomach. And I always notice on the right side, which is where, where the um, ileocecal valve is, it would be, it feels like it's, like, like, it's just, I don't even know, like, tight like so tight on the right side and years ago I would like rub on that side and I would lay on my left side and I would use a hot water bottle and I still do some of that stuff um but the last like three days it is my stomach is normal like it's soft like it feels good I'm probably one of the few people that embraces the colonoscopy because I'm like, oh, I'll get to feel good for like two days. I mean, how sad is that? Yay for colonoscopy because now I'm not going to feel like crap for two or three days. So this has been kind of low network connection and then I have to turn it this way. So whatever. I, don't know. I guess my house. It's my house. So um, yes. So my tummy feels fantastic. My um, belly feels softer and um, not tense and again I'm I want you all to be really clear I'm not attributing this to the carnivore diet um, it's not something that I would do the rest of my life I completely miss my vegetables and my fruits and all the healthy stuff but I know we're crazy Renee right um, but what I do notice like so my son was like can we go to Smoothie King okay I don't usually get Smoothie King um, and if I do, I'm really um, particular. I usually get this nutty super grain. It's vegan. And then I'm like, don't give me the super grains because <laughs> when I have that, it makes me sick. But I've noticed that over the course of the last year, I get sick when I eat the stuff there. So I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to make my own stuff. Like I make my own almond milk and make my own almond butter. You know, we do banana ice cream. I mean, I... It just gets to the point where you feel like nothing is really convenient, you know, for yourself when you're sick like this. So um, we go to Smoothie King and he gets, you know, his stuff. And of course, I'm just like, really? I have to like sit. I'm like, you can go in, Tristan, and get your smoothie and get Ryan a smoothie. I don't even want to go in. He came out and I was like, I was like, mm, it smells so good. I just wanted to like lick the straw. But, um, so I'm not promoting the carnivore diet by any means. Um, like I said, my program's one size fits one. I really promote that. It's really about listening to like my clients and listening to your own body. Everybody's strategy is different. I'm in like three groups of, um, people who suffer with SIBO and it's just interesting 
to like really start to see some of the issues people have and you know the other illnesses on top of it I have a friend who was exposed to mold and um, she was diagnosed with celiac she was diagnosed with SIBO and all kinds of stuff and I mean that is just another beast so there's you know the bottom line is it's not about food avoidance for the rest of your life it is about how do we heal what's broken what is the interference and how can we heal the immune system or the nervous system you know those are the the doctors I would encourage you to find like people that have that kind of mindset look at the body holistically look at the systems as something all together that it's not just going to like the neurologist and the pain management and then you know the GI and all these different doctors they will try to piecemeal it together the best that they can but honestly for somebody with autoimmune illness um, you really need somebody who's going to be able to um, look at your whole body and see you know and understand your journey and your condition and stuff like that so I'm really excited because I'm feeling really good my energy is great what else um, I don't know that's it I mean that's it for now a day six is tomorrow so I've committed to doing this for two weeks and then um, I will slowly start to add back um, some of the it's on it's called the low FODMAP but i I think I'm gonna kind of do a go green campaign so if anybody's interested to do that with me I definitely know that my body functions better when I stick with a lot of greens so um, you know greens are alkaline they um, they don't have as many um, you know fermentable like some of the things that FODMAP represents you know they don't have that as much some of them not all of them but so I don't know I need to think through that I've been doing kind of FODMAP here and there. I did it for three months last summer. Um, felt good, but I still, you know, had SIBO. I still had inflammation. So uh, my goal here is, you know, really to focus on this the next three to six months. I'm going to do the supplements. And um, how I how I find out about this, if you don't know already, it's Dr. Pompa. Go like his page. Um, multiple water fasts. That's another thing he recommends. So every month I will be doing um, probably a three to five day water fast. So if any of you want to join that, I would love for you to join it. I would have never thought, I would have never um, been somebody that would be doing that and jumping, jumping on board with something like that. But I think after you've been chronically ill, I think when you have had diseases that you're like, this doesn't make any sense because I've been healthy for so long, you are willing to like lick the dirt off the ground. Like you're like, I will drink the dirt water right oh there's my husband he's watching me um so yeah like seriously there's dirt water I mean if you don't know about this Dr. Zach and I could not even explain to you everything he does the guy is super smart he's like triple board certified and he's got this product and I always want to forget the name it's it's uh oh my god I can picture the bottle too and I, I was telling somebody about it today Okay, I'll post it in the comments because I can't think of it this second. It's basically like dirt water, but his story on um, how this came to be is incredible. Restore, thank you, Philip. <laughs> I always, I always want to be like redox, reflux, re. I don't know. My brain does not always remember this one. So restore is the product, and I think I start taking that month two or three. Um, that's what the protocol says. So. I'm doing all my supplements and today I have felt good. I actually intermittent fasted today. I didn't eat until about 1 p.m. So um, I'm making steaks tonight. Philip, you'd be so proud of me. I am, um, I marinated it in some olive oil and I did some seasoning stuff um, like salt, pepper, and we have this like hamburger seasoning that I'm doing it in and then uh, Butter, I guess, is my best friend to make the steak buttery. And David Quisenberry is, he, he found me at Sprouts. So I literally was standing there like this. Because I had no idea what to buy. I'm like, oh my God, I never buy this stuff. Nor do I, I don't buy it. But then, you know, like Philip makes it. I'm like, I don't make it. So I don't know what to do with it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to buy these things so I can make them and then my son who loves steak he just 
got a whole bunch of metal stuff in his mouth so he's like I can't eat steak tonight I was like seriously so I have like two steaks <laughs> but my youngest hates steak so <laughs> I guess steak for me more steak for me awesome so I'm gonna go drown it in some butter before Hannah comes over and I hope she's <laughs> I she's so funny she's my client last week who uh, brought wine over and uh, what did she bring me oh she brought tequila I don't even like tequila you know and that bottle of wine will probably sit on my refrigerator for like ever but whatever <laughs> I feel great I just wanted to share that with you guys I literally feel the most like myself today and yesterday probably than I have in a really long time so more to come <laughs>